Three, two, one, go. Uh, I just heard from Ash. She should be here any minute. But how is she doing? Well, she's a little shaken up. She's a little traumatized. I guess they were kind of rough on her in uh, uh, booking and everything. And um, she, she'll be able to tell you more about it when she comes in. Oh, look, here she comes. Oh. I mean, well, we'll don't worry. You've got the next couple of days off, and we're gonna take some money out of the budget, and we'll send you to a nice day spa. And James will just not have to buy alcohol for a few days. I mean, that'll that'll piss him off. But I didn't maybe you should get any. Oh, oh I didn't no! Didn't drink anything. What? Empty again? Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, James! Did you get your pitchfork back? Oh, I'll, t I'll, t I'll call the lawyer and we'll see if we can get that back. They're probably just holding on to it for a DNA search. They're, it'll be fine. You'll be okay. I know. You've, you've had a very rough time of it and they're there. And, and the hooker, she was so fat. She was so ugly. I don't even know what that was. A she it was probably a he. Oh, oh my word. Well, I hope you made a few friends while you were in there. It's... Uh, no, nobody would talk to you, huh? No, everybody talked to me. It was well, horrible. I, were, were, you, were you wearing that outfit in there? Uh, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. I don't want to talk about it okay. anymore. Okay, okay, well, well. All right, Ash, I mean, you just, uh, you just go take a hot bath or something. You've got the rest of the day off, and... Me and Inferno will uh, take care of everything. And greetings, faithful followers. I'm Brother Jack Angry, and this quivering wreck is Ash. She's had a bad day, so let, we're all going to be a little kind to her today. And Inferna, the cougar from hell. And tonight's movie is going to be called Carnival of Souls. This is a staple amongst the horror industry, and uh, I think just about every horror host that's out there has shown this at least once if not more than once, uh, but it's a great film. Uh, it was made in the uh, late 50s, I believe 1959, and is still in the black and white genre of classic horror films, and we really think you're going to enjoy it. Now we're going to get back to trying to uh, comfort Ash here, and you enjoy the show, and we'll see you at the break. Thanks a lot. Three, two, one, okay. That was perfect. <laughs> I just heard from Brother Jack. He wants us to check out a website. It's uh, the Horror Host Graveyard. It's a wonderful site. has information on horror hosts, both past and present. Uh, you can go ahead and look at uh, some interesting clips from these folks. You can get links to their websites and some of their merchandise sites. And also, again, view some wonderful clips on YouTube and other sources. And uh, the website is uh, www horrorhostgraveyard.com we're going to check it out and if you know what's good for you you will too yeah you better sounds exciting so let's go girls let's go check that site let's out let's do it yeah The Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama, Saturday mornings at 1 a.m. on Cox Public Access Channel 109. If you have any questions, email us at theangrybros, that's B-R-O-S, at gmail.com. And watch the show, or the doggy gets it.
Do you like your horror movies bad? Your whore host corny? And your women hot? Then you want the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakorama Saturday mornings at 1 a.m. on Cox Public Access Channel 109. If you have any questions or complaints, write us at theangrybros at gmail.com. Thank you and good night. You know what you need? You need to go relax, you know? We need to go do a couple's oil massage. Let's mm. do it. Mm. Mm. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, okay, well, I talked to the spa. You're all set. Um, we, yes, you, I even booked one for Inferna. That way she can go along too and keep you out of trouble. But if, oh, get a room already. Well, wait a minute. If you're going to do that, let, I want to watch and I want to videotape it. But, you know, we will uh, get your order legal trouble settled out. I did hear from the lawyers. They say you're just going to have to go to court. You're not going to have to serve any jail time. You will simply have to plead no contest, and that's very important that you say it that way. Uh, and you'll just get a small fine along with whatever time in, in jail you served. And it'll just, you will have a criminal record though, but we'll be able to take care of that through a mayoral pardon or something at some point. Um, other than that, they said this will all go away. It's, uh, the televangelist isn't really wanting to say very much, but you will have to tell, he, tell them in court if he t told you anything or if he gave you any information. But I don't know anything. I didn't even get that far. Okay, well then that's going to make it easy. I mean, you could just simply say you don't know anything and just give them that, give them that look. That'll, be, that'll work out wonderful. Well, did you tell her how she got off all of this already? Uh, no. It's because the judge's nephew is the man that was in jail with you, honey. Oh, the judge's oh. nephew is the big hooker? Right! Oh. Oh. Well, maybe we should send one of you two over to show him some dressing and makeup tips. I mean, uh, the lawyer said he, he saw him coming out of the uh, next interrogation room and he looked really frightening. It's like, there's nothing worse than a drag queen who just doesn't know how to put on makeup. <laughs> well, I also I got a call from the boys at Krypton Comics. They seems they would like us to show up down there, possibly for free comic book day. Oh, I love comic books! I love Krypton day. Comics! Yes, I love I... free comic book day! I heard they got a big man thing there. I'd like to see it. Okay, well, I'm not touching that one with a ten-foot pole. But anyway, faithful followers, that concludes our movie, Carnival of Souls. We hope you'll all be with us next week for Beware of the Blob. Now, this 1972 uh, made-for-TV classic uh, stars Robert Walker and Godfrey Cambridge, who you might know from the movie Watermelon Man. Uh, it is, was a kind of an impromptu sequel to the original Blob starring Steve McQueen. It was actually directed and stars Larry Hagman. Um, you'll notice one of the funny things, uh, the little glass balls on the string that everybody's bouncing around. Those were actually made quite popular by this movie. Um, I don't know where you'd get them, but it's an interesting little bit of trivia. And we will see you all next week on The Angry Brothers Omaha Shockorama. And we'll even have her ash back in a little bit better frame of mind. Let's go get her oil massage! Yay! Let's go! So excited! Uh, my best friend! Bye-bye! Can anyone else but me taste the bile?